Hi everybody, I'm Naufal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding a very important topic that is curriculum. Okay, how to develop the curriculum and how to plan the curriculum and different steps and process of curriculum and the levels of curriculum. First of all, you should know what is curriculum. Just take example, BSc nursing course. So for BSc nursing course, we have four years and for every year, for each year, you have different, different subjects, right? So for different, different subjects, every day you have periods. First hour is for anatomy, second hour is for physiology, third hour is for biochemistry, like that. Every hour is there for your topics, okay? And for theory, a particular period is there. For theory, a particular month or a session is there. For the practical session, you have another session. That is, for a particular month, your practical session will start. In between that, the sports day will come, the annual day will come, the arts day will come. Okay? So, for all these things, for all these things, we are calling curriculum. Okay? This is called curriculum for a course we will have different years so it is a planning for a course for year and different subject for different subject different periods and particular time for theory and particular time for practical that is called curriculum let's see the definition of curriculum all the learning activities which are planned and guided by the school whether they are carried out in groups or individually inside and outside the school all the learning activities which are planned and guided by the school okay so all your learning activities are planned and the guidance is given by the school or your college okay so all the activities related to learning is planning and guiding by the school whether they are carried out in group or individually Individually, they are giving the learning techniques and the guidance or in groups. Whether it is in outside or inside. That is in the college or outside the college. That is in the hospital setting, for example. Okay. So, the definition for the curriculum is all the learning activities which are planned and guided by the school. Whether they are carried out in groups or individually. In, inside the school or outside the school okay inside and outside the school but it that is the definition of curriculum okay next we can see the levels of curriculum the levels of curriculum the levels of curriculum include three levels that is societal level and the institutional level and the instructional level you can see societal level the institutional level and the instructional level of curriculum the levels of curriculum include three that is societal level institutional level and the instructional level let's see one by one first one is societal level the societal level curriculum planning means it is planned for a large number of students it is planned for large number of students that means for example bsc nursing it is a large number of students are learning bsc nursing course so the curriculum and regarding the syllabus is prepared by indian nursing council it is not prepared by the educational institution it is prepared by the regulatory body okay or the accreditation bodies are preparing societal curriculum so always keep it in mind societal curriculum is prepared by a higher authority other than your educational institution or other than your college okay for example indian nursing council inc is preparing the syllabus for the bsc nursing students that is societal curriculum next one is institutional curriculum from the name itself this curriculum is prepared by the institution or your college or your school so syllabus is given by the higher authority institution is preparing the curriculum regarding each year different subject 
the theory session and the practical session and different periods in a day. It is prepared by the institution according to the plan of the college they are preparing the institutional curriculum. Okay. Next one is instructional curriculum. Instructional curriculum is prepared by a particular teacher who is taking that particular subject or topic. So, the teacher is preparing, a particular teacher is preparing the instructional curriculum. This week, how much I have to cover, when I have to conduct the unit exam. Regarding that and all, a teacher is preparing the curriculum that is instructional curriculum so you can see societal curriculum institutional curriculum and instructional curriculum that is levels of curriculum next we can see the important part of the curriculum development that is steps and process of curriculum development mainly you can see four steps or four process are there for curriculum development that is Formulation of educational objectives, selection of learning experience, organization of learning experience and evaluation of curriculum. So, the steps of curriculum development you can see in four headings. Okay, Four main headings you can see for curriculum development. First one is formulation of educational objectives. The first step of Curriculum development is formulation of educational objectives. So, formulation means preparation of educational objectives. So, how to prepare the educational objectives? So, first step is formulation of educational objectives. So, what are the steps you have to keep it in mind while preparing curriculum or while formulating the educational objectives? Let us see one by one. The first step is Identify the needs of the learner. While preparing the curriculum, you should identify the need of the learner. For example, now computer assisted learning is the need of the student. Okay, without computer, the student can't exist in this society. At this scenario, the student should learn regarding computer only. Okay. So, with the help of computer, it is a need. I am just giving the example only. Computer is a need of the learner. Okay. So, the while preparing the curriculum, you should identify what are the needs of the learner. Okay. Next one is identify the needs of the society. What are the needs of the society? What they demand? What the society required from this education? You should know regarding what are the needs of the society while preparing the educational objectives. Next step is study the suggestions of the expert. While preparing the curriculum, you should study the suggestions from the expert. The expert will tell like that these are the needs of the learner, these are the needs of the society. You should prepare like this. So, always you should study the needs of the learner while preparing the curriculum. The next step is formulate the philosophy. Formulate the philosophy in the sense prepare the value or the belief of your educational program for example bsc nursing okay for example bsc nursing you should prepare the philosophy regarding the bsc nursing course okay you should prepare the value or belief of the educational program okay next one is state the objectives gathered from various sources state the objectives gathered from various sources you will get so many suggestions from the expert from the society and from various sources you are getting the suggestions okay according to that suggestions you have to state the objectives gathered from various sources from the various sources what are the things you have received you have to state all that objectives okay so you are stating the objectives received from various sources from the learner you got some idea, from the society you got some idea, from the experts also you got some idea. You are stating that objectives. Next one is screen the objectives and select the appropriate one. 
After stating all the objectives received from the various sources, screen the objectives and select the appropriate one. That means screening means you are examining the right written objectives and you are removing the unwanted one or you are rejecting the unwanted one and you are accepting what are the things to be included. Okay, you are accepting and rejecting through screening. Okay, what are the objectives to be written and what are the objectives to be removed? What is next one is state the objectives in terms of outcome. The final step of formulation of educational objective is state the objectives in terms of outcome. Okay, finally, you have to state the educational objectives in terms of outcome. Outcome means what are the benefits or what will be the behavioral changes occur in the students you have to state the objectives in terms of the outcome okay what the benefit you are going to get got it next step is the second step comes under the curriculum development is selection of learning experience selection of learning experience while selecting the learning experience the teacher or the instructor have to keep it in mind some things we can see one by one that is prepare institutional objectives what are the objectives of your college okay so the instructor or the teacher should prepare keep it in mind while preparing the curriculum she should prepare the institutional objectives what are the objectives of your college that is general and specific objectives of your institution should be prepared next one is principles of learning have to be kept in mind principles of learning have to be kept in mind while preparing the curriculum the teacher should kept in mind regarding the principles of learning okay principles of learning is there that we will see in another class so the teacher should kept in mind regarding that principles while selecting the learning experience the next step is list the teaching points and students abilities to be developed the teacher should list the teaching points and students abilities to be developed okay so what are the things to be teach should be listed and what are the abilities to be developed for example while giving back care what are the things to be keep it in mind so what are the abilities or capacities or the capabilities of the students to be developed so while explaining regarding this thing i have to teach the teacher should not that i have to teach this point that is teaching points and the ability of the student to be developed the student should develop these skills supposed to give injection okay so to develop the ability and capability should be noted as well as what are the things to be teached should be list okay next step is choose learning aids based on students abilities choose the learning aids based on students abilities means the while selecting the learning experience according to the ability and the capacity of the student the teacher should select the av aids that is audio visual aids according to the standard of the student okay you can select chalk and blackboard or a chart or else you can use projector according to the standard of the student you can select the av8 that is choose the learning aids according to the ability according to the ability of the student only okay if they are capable you can increase or you can use the new technology based av8 if they are low means according to their level you have to choose the av8 got it next one is provide guidance and counseling to the learner provide guidance and counseling to the learner so while selecting the learning experience the teacher have to kept in mind that she should provide guidance and counseling to the students okay the last steps coming under selection of learning experience is estimate the time to be taken to teach the topic the teacher should estimate the time to be taken to teach the 
topic suppose the teacher is planning to take the class regarding digestive system so how much hour she will take to complete that digestive system getting or not to complete a topic how much time how much day or how much hour it will take so the teacher should estimate regarding the time taken to take the each topic i am just given an example regarding digestive system okay it differ according to your subjects the next step is organization of learning experience the third step of curriculum development is organization of learning experience organization of learning experience after formulating the educational objectives you have selected the learning experience now you have to organize the learning experience so how to organize learning experience organization means you are developing a system you are developing a system so while organizing learning experience three things are important that is continuity sequence and integration continuity sequence and integration first one is continuity from the name itself you will get continuity means a continuation should be there okay that is the relationship existing between different levels of same subject the relationship existing between different levels of same subject okay chapter 1 in a subject chapter 1 is the continuation of chapter 2 chapter 2 is the chapter 3 is the condition, continuation of chapter 2 like that a continuation should be there while organizing the learning experience a continuation should be there that is the relationship existing between different levels of same subject okay next one is sequence sequence means order okay in a order it will go a perfect order it should go while organizing the learning experience it should go in a particular or in a perfect order it should go that is a successive experience goes more deeply and more broadly a successive experience go more deeply as well as more broadly i'll give the example simple to difficult okay just take the example for sequence simple to difficult suppose a teacher want to teach regarding heart attack okay that is myocardial infarction so from simple the teacher should start that is regarding heart regarding the chambers of heart regarding the circulation of heart then she can move slowly to the block occurring in the heart so from the simple thing from the heart to the complex thing or to the difficult thing okay that is to the heart attack from the heart to the myocardial infarction in a order it has gone so every successive experience goes deeply as well as broader got it that is sequence or in chronological order suppose regarding the history of nursing so from the beginning of the nursing till the date what are the things happened so in a order only it is coming while teaching regarding the history of nursing from the beginning till the date what are the things happened it comes in a order only without overlapping got it that is sequence next one is integration the integration means combination okay a combination should be there while organizing the learning experience that means the inter relationship between the different subject the inter relationship between the different subjects for example suppose just take digestive system as your example in anatomy you can see digestive system right and in physiology you are learning digestive system in biochemistry also you are learning digestive system in medical surgical nursing also you are learning digestive system right so that is integration a combination 
or a interrelationship between the different subject this thing is same only but there is a interrelationship between the different subjects that is integration got it the last step the final step of the curriculum development is evaluation of curriculum evaluation of curriculum means you are judging you are judging the effectiveness of the educational objectives whether all the objectives all the selection all the organization are effective or not you are evaluating or you are judging the effectiveness of your curriculum development things okay the final step is evaluation of the curriculum that you are conducted through interview through observation through questionnaire or through other methods they are conducting or they are evaluating the effectiveness of the curriculum okay that is the final step that's all regarding the curriculum and the levels of curriculum and the steps and process of curriculum we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye